While supporters claim it will build confidence in election, opponents call it voter suppression. It's a hot button topic from last campaign season. It's about to be a major focus in Frankfurt as lawmakers tackle a voter ID bill in Kentucky. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has the story from the state capitol. You may have been like me and thought that one of these, a photo ID, was required to vote in Kentucky because your poll worker, like my poll worker, asked for one. That's not exactly the case. In November, the people spoke on this issue, and now we need to listen. New Secretary of State Michael Adams ran on requiring photo IDs to vote in Kentucky. He says photo ID is not required to vote here. If your poll worker asks for one, you don't have to show it, but you do have to show some form of ID that could include official mail, a credit card, or non-photo ID. Secretary Adams and Republican Senator Robbie Mills have convinced Senate leadership that requiring photo ID to vote should be a priority. Senate Bill 2, they claim, waives the $30 fee for state photo IDs to anyone qualified to vote, even if they don't register to vote. Military, federal, and student photo IDs would be acceptable. It would not go into effect until November as to not impact the May primaries. And anyone who was unable to get a photo ID could still vote by provisional ballot, signing a paper stating that they had some legitimate reason why they could not get a photo ID. It's scandalous that we have second-class citizens in our state who can't perform basic life functions because they don't have a photo ID due to its cost. We fixed that in this bill. Opponents call it clear-cut voter suppression. Now, we have laws that require you to be identified at the polls. What this is, is a more restrictive version to prohibit people from voting. Governor Andy Bashir took a diplomatic approach to questions about SB2. Well, I just want to make sure that there aren't unnecessary roadblocks towards voting. That doesn't mean that the people who are, who are backing it are, are intending it to be that, but I want to make sure that when someone goes in to vote, uh, with, the, with the world we live in, with all the information, with everything that's online or in databases, we ought to be able to make voting easier, not make it harder. It's unclear when hearings will start or how much this will cost taxpayers. Secretary Adams suspects that an analysis will show that the price tag is in the low six figures. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.